As a strike by university lecturers in Nigeria is entering its sixth month, are the issues closer to getting resolved? National President of the Academic Union of Nigerian Universities joins us on the program today. And Nigerian governors have advised the federal government to retire all federal civil servants who are older than 50 years. Is such a move, is it feasible and uh, is it in the interests of all concerned? We'll look at this ahead on the program this morning. We'll also have in-depth analysis of some of today's newspaper headlines as Chris Kende Mwando joins us for Off the Press. We're back with uh, The Breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. Interesting analysis and of course uh, discussions coming your way on this program. We have our guests already lined up for you. It promises to be a firecracker of an episode of the program. You're welcome. My name is Kofi Bartels. That's uh, making with that trending segment right here on The Breakfast uh, where we take stories that have been generating discussions on the social space and bring them on air with some discussions and analysis uh, in a short while. Anyway, uh, the first one happens to do, do with a reaction to a video, viral video circulating on social media and on the internet. Um, this video purportedly showing members of uh, the National Association of Sea Dogs, also known as the Pirates Confraternity, um, dressed in uh, uh, yeah, uniform, all right, uh, red head warmer. You have a white shirt, uh, red uh, waistcoat and, a black tr and black trousers. Uh, em embarking on the process, this video first uh, surfaced on Sunday, uh, embarking on a, a procession and singing songs and chanting what we call in local uh, uh, lingo, uh, uh, gyration, all right. And of course, um, they were singing some songs. Some people feel that uh, the songs that they were singing refer to someone, uh, a member of the All Progressives Congress, in particular, uh, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, and these songs mocking uh, the candidate uh, Ashiwa Jibola Tinubu. Uh, in, in that one minute video, you could hear them, you can hear them uh, saying or chanting, Emi loko, Emi loko, Baba, we know well. He they shout, Emi loko, hand they shake, leg they shake, Baba, we know well. He they shout, Emi loko. And this uh, is roughly translated for those who do not understand pigeon. Um, uh, with an unstable hand, a shaking hand, a shaking leg, a man with uh, a frail health is sounding, uh, is saying that it's his turn to be president, Nigeria's president. Of course, the phrase Emiloko was sneaked into the national political um, lingua franca uh, of the nation's consciousness on the 3rd of June 2022 during a meeting. Uh, Bola McTable, the candidate, presidential candidate of the uh, All Progressives Congress, then aspirant. Uh, Bola Tinubu had with um, delegates of the All Progressives Congress uh, who were getting set to go uh, to the party's presidential primary in Abuja. At that time, uh, Tinubu expressed frustration over the non-support for his ambition uh, uh, to win the party's presidential ticket. Uh, this he noted, having worked for the emergence of uh, President Buhari in 2015, uh, you know, was, was enough uh, for him to, to really express his feelings. And indeed, he, he made a case for himself. In, in that famous speech, it's now a, a famous speech, uh, Mr. Tinubu said, Emi Loko, uttered the famous words now, uh, Emi Loko, meaning that it is, it is my time. It is my time. And of course, um, that speech, some would say, uh, is what maybe rescued his political uh, future. Because at the end of that uh, that primary, as we all know, he has since gone on to become uh, the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, um, and this is where we stand. So, um, though though he uh, he didn't um, you know he didn't the song didn't mention his name, uh, it is still seen uh, as being uh, you know it's being seen as it's still seen as being uh, directed to him. Now the gentleman in question, uh, Wale Shirinka, whose name you're seeing on your screen in that lower third, is um, perceived to be the founder of uh, this Pirates Confraternity. He released a statement condemning the 
uh, the words used in the song and condemning the song itself. Uh, he described that song as distasteful. These are the words of uh, Wale Shoenka, his uh, Nigerian Nobel laureate and internationally acclaimed playwright. He's now considered an elder statesman. Um, his role in setting up this National Association of Sea Dogs is well documented. He released a statement titled Interim Statement on the Dubious Political Outing. Uh, the Nobel laureate said that his attention was drawn to that video clip. He said, quote, the display, of, the display acidly targets a presidential candidate in the awaited 2023 elections. Uh, since the whole world knows of my connection with this, uh, that fraternity, it is essential that I state in clear and ambiguous terms that I'm not involved in that public performance nor in any way associated with the sentiments expressed in the songs. And um, of course, uh, some persons have come out uh, yesterday. Uh, Patience Jonathan was trending. If you check uh, to see what exactly Patience Jonathan did, you wouldn't find anything to lead you to, to that. Uh, but the reason why Patience Jonathan, uh, her name, the, the name Patience Jonathan had some space on the Twitter trend, trending list uh, was because um, uh, some person who decided to comment, comment on this uh, statement by Wale Shoenka said that, oh, uh, uh, Kungi, as his funded call to refer to, should keep quiet uh, because he at some time uh, addressed Patience Jonathan. He said to her, said, they said he addressed special Patience Jonathan as a, a sheepopotamus, as sheepopotamus. And uh, of course, people now went back to the, uh, an article shared from that period where uh, he said, you know, that he, you can take a hippopotamus out of the swamp, but you can't take the swamp out of the hippopotamus. And uh, when he was pressed, he now used the word sheepopotamus and the name of patients, uh, well, the word sheepopotamus uh, in his response to a question of, uh, as to why he, he talked about hippopotamus when referring to the first lady. So some people have gone back to that particular incident to say, hey, um, Oga, you called the former first lady a hippopotamus. He should not be the one commenting on, uh, uh, you know, uh, what, whether this song is distasteful or not. Um, but, but however, I think it's instructive to, or it's important to note that, um, and, and also some have said, you know what, uh, Wale Shunka should also have condemned uh, uh, Bola Metinbu when he said in Yoruba in that uh, uh, campaign in Oshun State for the governorship election that uh, those who are laboring will labor in vain. He said it in Yoruba, but it is roughly trans or loosely translated to those who are, are laboring will continue to labor till they die, is what he is uh, quoted as saying. Um, so they're saying, why didn't Shoenka also condemn? Uh, Tinubu, you know, in that in that instance. But I think it's important to note that uh, Wale Shunka is not uh, obliged to comment on every national issue. You know, he's not uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission. N neither is he the uh, 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 the 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 Nigerian National Orientation Agency. He he has a right to comment on whatever he wishes to comment on. And the man, the, the learned, you know, gentleman, the 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 Nobel laureate. Um, who, who is um, I mean, widely traveled, vastly experienced, experienced highly educated, uh, um, very, very eloquently gave reasons why um, he, should, he, he decided to comment on this one. Um, he said that, uh, that, you know, um, that he is connected the whole world. These are his words. Says, Since the whole world knows of my connection with that fraternity, it is essential that I stay in clear, unambiguous terms, uh, that I am not involved in that public performance or knowing, knowing in any way associated with the sentiments expressed in the songs. So Wale Shunka has a local standing in this, in this case. I mean, if he's a Nigerian, he can comment on any political issue he wants to, but in this particular instance, he's, he's clear as to reasons why he's commenting, uh, that he is, um, his association with this group is well known. So he wants people to know that this, he's not associated, associated with this in any way, and then he, he condemns it as well. Um, so I, I do not see the logical connection between what Bola Tinbu said in Oshun State and what Wale Shoenka is saying today. Um, I think those who are making these points should sit down and try to learn from people who are as erudite as Wale Shoenka so that they can also uh, get, get to that point where uh, they, they can see you know, the, the, the logical connections between things and not, not ask questions that are unconnected 
in situations that, that don't even relate to each other. Um, the logic in all of this say no. Well, Eshirinka didn't say anything when Tinubu spoke at that stadium in, in uh, Ocean State. It has no logical connection. It, they, they don't meet. You know, so um, people are, are, are missing the point. The point is this man is speaking about a group that he's been involved in, and maybe people might uh, misconstrue his silence as uh, he's part of this and what they're doing today. The Paris confraternity uh, are, are against Tinubu. And he's saying, look, okay, I'm a part of this group, but I don't know about what's going on. He now takes part of his response to talk about the, uh, the position of such groups, you know, the history that um, he says, I do not interfere. Uh, he says, like any other civic group, the Pirates Confraternity is entitled to its freedom of expression individually or collectively. He says, so also is Wale Shoinka in his own person, which is true. He says, I do not interfere in, nor do I attempt to dictate the partisan political choice of the confraternity. So he's clear by saying he is entitled to his own freedom of expression. You don't dictate to him what national issues he comments on. This is his choice. So whether Tinubu said something in Oshu or said something in Oyo or said something in Ogun, let's face the issues squarely and let's understand where people's rights begin and where they end. You know, if the man said anything that spoiler material now, that should be condemned. Don't drag Wale Shonka into it, all right? Let Wale Shonka decide the things he would like to comment on. It is his right, not anyone's right. Now, he goes on to now talk about the confraternity to say that um, I remain unaware that the association ever, this is the Pirates National Association of Sea Dogs, association ever engages in a collective statement uh, of sponsorship or repudiation of any candidate. He says, this is clearly a new and bizarre development fraught with unpredictable consequences, he says. So he's talking about his own experience with this with, with association. Uh, and, and he seems to be afraid for the future. He thinks it's not uh, usual that uh, the group will take a political position in an election, clearly, you know, by the songs that they're singing. That's what he thinks it means. And that uh, he feels this is fraught with uh, unpredictable consequences for the future. Now, I, I saw a, a, a tweet by another gentleman, a uh, gentleman on Twitter, who happens also to attract a lot of attention with his comments, um, and a lot of stick, especially when he tries to make sense, common sense. And I understand what's going on. So he said um, that you know, if, if, if the, this trend is, is allowed to continue, it might lead to another thing that we don't want to see as part of the 2023 elections. Now, he was talking about, okay, you have the Pirates Confraternity of the National uh, Association of Sea Dogs. Now, if you have uh, another group that wants to align itself with another political candidate, presidential candidate, and then they come out uh, to, to give, sing their own song, all right? They come out to sing their own song, and uh, they support another person. And how is it going to play out between the Pirates Confraternity and the other group, you know, will it lead to a clash, you know, of interest, will it lead to a clash on the streets? And we know how these associations can get. So these are some of the things that um, were said by, by the, uh, um, the gentleman involved, you know, uh, uh, Wale Shoenka, that also need to be discussed. I mean, it's an interesting time um, in the history of the country. Wale Shoenka also talked about uh, Yoruba culture, where he said that it is... Uh, not, not proper in Yoruba culture to uh, mock anyone based on their, uh, their physical frailties or their disability, you know. So there are two issues here. The um, person in question is an uh, elderly man, all right, he's old. Uh, secondly, he has, is perceived to have some issues with his health. I mean, he feels that it is not, uh, should not be the subject of, of such songs. That's why he called it distasteful. We'll move on uh, from that. Uh, uh, interesting times in the polity, and of course, uh, we expect that some of these uh, rhetorics will be heard um, as the election draws closer. But obviously, um, it should be condemned, and uh, people should be reminded that uh, there's some decency attached to uh, the political campaigning. It's very important. All right, let's move on. Um, Nigerian singer Case Daniel uh, was arrested in, in Tanzania. Um, for skipping, allegedly skipping a show. Now, uh, pictures and videos emerged of Case Daniel 
uh, you know, being led from a hotel into a waiting pickup truck. It seems this is a police vehicle in Tanzania. Now, I looked at Case Daniel's Instagram page and uh, it was um, evident that he had some shows in the eastern part of Africa. I mean, I saw some, some flyers on his Instagram page showing that uh, he was meant to be in Rwanda, in Tanzania, and in Tanzania and some other countries. Now, the allegation is that uh, Case Daniel was paid to perform at that show in Tanzania and didn't show up. Interestingly, a media personality, uh, uh, Daddy Freeze, you know, who used to be on Cool FM back in the day. Daddy Freeze did an Instagram live with a gentleman. If you did, you have two versions of this video showing Case Daniel being led from uh, his hotel into a waiting police pickup. One will show the people who were filming him from the door of the hotel. All right, it shows them. Now, if you look at those filming him and talking to him as he entered the truck, the person who took this picture, this view, you'd see one of the gentlemen um, holding this particular phone it happens to be the promoter of this uh, concert, of this show that Case Daniel went for. You can't see him in this video, but there's another video that shows him. And uh, he was a guest on the Instagram live uh, feed of uh, Daddy Freeze, Nigerian media personality. Uh, and he said that the, the, the young man, the musician, refused to, to perform simply because the airline forgot his bag, did not uh, you know, bring his bag uh, along to Tanzania. And that he had a gold chain, some gold chains in, in the bags that he will not perform without those gold chains. Keith Daniel said he will not perform without those gold chains. Now, the gentleman said a certain Paulino, was it Polo, that was instrumental in getting Kiss Daniel to sign a contract to perform in Tanzania. So he, he's a Nigerian businessman in Tanzania, uh, did all he could to impress on, on the Polo uh, to talk to Kiss Daniel. And he said Polo was crying, asking Kiss Daniel to please perform because he said he, the, the, the guy had sold you know, out the event Tickets had been sold, money had been collected already, money had been spent to promote the program, equipment had been paid for, the hall had been paid for, uh, refreshment, everything had been settled. The gentleman said that he spent about $300,000 to prepare for the event and that uh, he sold tables at that event for $5,000 and up, up, up to $10,000 per table. And uh, this was, uh, he was a new businessman in Tanzania and he looked really distraught, you know. So um, it was quite shocking to Daddy Freeze in that particular video uh, and another gentleman I saw on that uh, Instagram live feed as to why, you know, that rather, uh, Case Daniel refused to perform simply because he forgot his gold chain or his gold chain and his luggage had not arrived at Tanzania at the time of the concert. Um, the show promoter uh, proceeded to say that Case Daniel even had one chain on him and that he, the promoter of the show, had offered, had offered to, to purchase more chains for Case Daniel. Uh, but Kizena refused, saying that he wanted, he wanted to perform in his own chain. And if the chain had not arrived, the luggage had not arrived, he will uh, not be performing. And that was what led to the police being called. Now, some Nigerians, you know, started tagging uh, Abike Dabri and the Nigerians in the Aspra Commission, asking them, uh, her and the commission, to do something to get Kiz Daniel out of detention. Uh, of course, the investigation was going on and you expect the police to invite you for, to answer some questions and to take a statement. So, uh, uh, you know, at about 8.17 p.m. last night, uh, Abike Dabri Erewa, the head of the Nigerian and Diaspora Commission, tweeted or responded to some tweets and said that uh, Kis Daniel has been released from detention uh, or from custody and um, should be on his way. It's what she said, should. He should be on his way back to Nigeria as soon as possible, while his legal team will uh, iron out the final details, probably see how they can pay back the money that was paid to Keith Daniel. You know, but the question is, if Keith Daniel's legal team are able to negotiate something, you know, is, is it just about paying back what was paid to Keith Daniel? Because, of course, there are damages involved in such a case. Um, the owner of the concert, the promoter, spent money uh, to do other things apart from paying you. You know, there's a profit he was meant to make. He's going to lose that. You know, the money he collected in sales of tickets from individuals and sales of tables, he's going to lose that. So it goes beyond refunding uh, the money that you paid or you collected from him as your parents' fee. It goes beyond that. But I think it's also important to wait 
until Case Daniel says something, you know, to wait until Case Daniel says something before one can, can judge this matter. If indeed what the promoter said is true, that it was just about his gold chain. But um, a lot of people have said, a lot of people have pointed out that this isn't the first time uh, Case Daniel is refusing or collecting money for a show, or is alleged, let me put it that way, to have collected money to perform in a concert and uh, he didn't show up. And yesterday, Babcock University was trending. Check the internet, nothing special happened with Babcock University. And the reason why Babcock University was trending was because uh, uh, I think it said that alleged that Case Daniel at some point uh, in his career collected some funds or was booked for a show, let's say and did not uh, turn up to perform at that event. It's not the first time. He's also had some, some issues with his contract and his record label and all that. It's well documented. So people are saying, is this a pattern from the man or not? Well, I think it's best to wait till uh, Case Daniel speaks and then we can hear his own side of the story. Uh, he's been enjoying success with his new uh, single titled Buga, which has been played all over the world. In the Commonwealth Games, he was played at the World Athletic Championships when the Nigerian athletes won uh, gold. It was played, you know, as they celebrated around the field and all that. So it's, 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 it's a great time for him. He's also been featured on the biggest uh, radio shows in America recently with See the God. Um, so it's, it's a great time for his career. This is the highest point of his uh, musical career. And I don't think he, he wants or he should want anything to scuttle all that. That being said, uh, we'll pull the plugs at this point. On uh, the top trending segment, we'll take a short break. And uh, when we return, we look at uh, the latest headlines from today's national dailies. Stay with us.